Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today I will talk to you about how to solve move your iPhone a little lower, upper, that problem happens with your iPhone right up to iOS 17. Here are in the very quick and advanced guide that you guys can follow to solve your problem. Now this problem mainly happens when you actually upgraded your iPhone with the latest software version and also happened for multiple reasons. Now, if you want to solve this particular problem, the first thing that you guys have to do, you gotta head over to settings on your iPhone, then you wanna scroll down to your accessibility, and here you will see this option called Face ID and Attention. If you open this up here, now once you've just set up your Face ID and Attention here, just get back here, um, just get back here again and come to the main settings on your iPhone, tap Face ID and Passcode, enter your passcode right here, and if your face ID is already set up, then you had problem with set up, you know, setting up an alternative parents, then just come back here and tap reset face ID. You have to be careful with a couple of settings here. Um, you just gotta have to make sure you're actually enabling um this option called um uh set up the face ID. Just go ahead and tap on there. Now, while you're setting up or positioning your iPhone, you have to be uh hold your iPhone in a way that actually gets your full face for your face id so let me just go ahead and tap get started here there's just frame your phone on the middle of your face and just give it around just like that and this is going to actually work and that's how you guys can solve the problem however if you still have problems and you cannot really uh, pass through the test or problems then the last thing that you guys need to do just head over to settings one more time then head over to general, scroll down and tap chance for a reset and here tap reset and choose reset all settings. Often time, only doing this actually can solve you um, by me solve the minor box of glitches and that can potentially help you to set up your face ID with your iPhone. Now, before you do anything else, if you still have problem, lastly, you guys also can try to check the new software update, whether it's available for your device or not. If there is update, update it and hopefully your problem will be solved right after doing that. Even if you still have problems, please guys do let me know in the comment section to get the further help and see you guys around.